when most people think about Valentine's Day, they think of hearts, candy, chocolate, and kisses. But here at the Gemini Theater, with the help of a few local performers, they're giving Valentine's Day a whole new twist. The improv group, the Amish Monkeys, had couples and singles laughing last weekend with their popular Valentine show. Well, it's all about a lot of Valentine's games are all love themed games and I believe tonight we actually have prizes to give out to people who give us suggestions. Before the show, audience members were asked to offer suggestions for the cast to perform certain situations. <laughs> our normal shows, our non-Valentine's shows, will simply ask the audience to quickly think of something on, at the moment, call something out verbally. We get a better variety, I think, of, of suggestions if we give people time before the show to think. We're still within the structure that we created of doing some couple reenactments. But for this, they actually get the chance to answer questions in advance, and then we draw from the individual bags and use the suggestions that people have time to think about. But we have suggestionnaires for people who are single and people who are too young to be with any other, so plus if you're a couple. The cast performs skits such as the dating game, a single show, and speed dating. On Valentine's Day, I think in the past I've remembered that people were making a special trip to come see this show because it's something different for Valentine's Day. So we do get um, people making more of an effort to get a babysitter maybe. Improv for the Amish monkeys comes easy, but even the pros get caught off guard. I find the moments when you can't think of anything are the moments when you're just suddenly kind of bringing yourself out of it. And instead of kind of going with the flow and letting your mind run and thinking of something, it's when you make the mistake of thinking about the fact that you are now called upon to think of something. As they say, practice makes perfect. But how does one rehearse for improv? You rehearse the formats and the games and the rules and different people in them. But basically what you're rehearsing is you're rehearsing that you're going to come up with something. You're rehearsing to trust yourself. I mean, it's like if somebody throws you into a swimming pool, you're going to try to swim. You'll do everything you can to not drown. Last Saturday's show left the audience in a good mood, and that means the cast was in one also. When somebody says, I haven't laughed this hard in so long, or, you know, or I had a really bad day, and when I came to your show, I felt better. I mean, that just makes it all worth it. For Point News Now, I'm AJ Zala. Thanks to my radio. Yeah. <laughs>